Howdy folks and welcome back to the mountain. It's a gorgeous day up here. Mid to upper 50s. Sun is kind of shining. We got some rain coming in. But hey, that's all right. So as you know, you can see I'm standing by the barn. And as you know, we're moving the chickens and the ducks to over here. And that's quite a ways from the house back there. And we really don't have a hose on. <laughs> we're not going to have any water out here. So what we've decided to do is put a rain connection system on the back of the barn. Let me show you how we're going to do that. It's the back of the barn. As you can see, there's the goaty goats coming over to say hi. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jana. What we're going to do, we're going to run um, gutters along the back edge and over there I'm going to have it run into a barrel. Pretty simple really and that way we can get water for the goats and the ducks and the chickens when they're over there. What I have over here are two 10 foot sections of gutter and I got a smaller section I might need to. These are on the front of the house. They'd mounted them with uh, MDF and that really didn't last long so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay now that I have most of my material back here I've got a ladder set up on each end took me a while to get the material back here. For some reason, Joey doesn't want me to bring the tractor back here. I don't know why. Something about mud, I don't know. So, first thing I want to do is, as you know, when you're doing gutters, you want it to go downhill. Let's do that again. Downhill. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a chalk line. My low end's going to be over there because that's where the barrel's going to be. My high end will be here. So, what I want to do is I want to get a short piece of the um, gutter and set it up there and then mark where I want it. All right, so to run my chalk line, I'm gonna, I wanna put a screw up on this end where I'm gonna have, that'll be good right about there. So we'll put our screw in right here. All right, now we can run our chalk line. Let's hook that right there. Brand new chalk line, so I gotta kinda get the chalk on the string as I pull it out. Okay. Because I don't know about you, but I lose my tools. I now have three chalk lines around. All right, so I'm gonna do this so it's down, but you know what, I'm gonna go get that other piece and make sure I'm not. So we'll run it right about there. And that'll be good right there. So let's go ahead and mark our chalk. Pull it and bink, and there we go. Now we can go ahead and mount our uh, gutter. We'll just put it right on our chalk line. And we are indeed going downhill. So we can go ahead and mount up our gutters. I'm going to put that right over the end a little bit like that. We'll make sure we're right even on our blue line. All right, let's go ahead and drive a screw in this one. Okay. Uh, and we can do the next rafter. Let's slide that down a little bit. We'll slide this up top. All 
All right, now let's go down. So, luckily, I have the sawmill, so I was able to put a board up here, so I can just go ahead and climb up on this board without having to worry about ruining my metal roof. And hopefully, I don't fall. Ugh. Hopefully, I don't fall. All right. Now, what I want to do before I get too far is I'm going to measure how long I want the other piece to be so we can put the downspout there too. There we go. And the drain holes right there goes right in. It's going to be wonderful, right goaty goats? Right goaty goats? All right, so. Okay, and there we go. Our gutter's installed. And now water should run right down this puppy. And right out this. So. Let me show you what we've done. So, we've got our gutter up now. It's not the greatest or the prettiest thing, but you know, that should work. And that should get us water right down that spout right there. And what we'll do is we'll put a barrel on the outside right there coming out of that. So let's get all our stuff out of the goat pen and we'll set this ladder because we're going to need that there. Let's get started. All right, so now that we have the gutters put up, we need something for the water to go into. Um, I mean, just having a, having a spout there and the goats licking that up, that just ain't going to work. So what we need is a barrel and I just happen to have one and I'm going to show you how you how you can use this so this is our 55 gallon barrel right here um, it had edible liquid in it with some type of flavoring for soda or something but what you need is a spigot on the bottom and I happen to have one here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you install this spigot okay so what you need to do is you need a one and a quarter inch bit and you need to drill a hole two to three inches up from the bottom. So I've laid the barrel down and I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole right here. It's about three inches up or so. Let's go ahead and drill that. There. Now let's make sure we fit and it does it fits good now there is a trick to putting this in there because this part has to go inside the barrel all right so what i do is i take a piece of string i'm just going to tie a nut onto it for some weight and then what i'm going to do i'm going to drop it inside the barrel and then fish it out through that hole that I just drilled. So let's get this tied on there like so. Now we'll drop it inside. Let me get my stuff off the top. Drop it inside the barrel. Okay and now we can bring it down. Okay. There we go. So I have my nut, my string right here. So then all you do is you take the part that goes inside and the way it's, it's gonna go in like this so it can come down and through the hole. So I'm gonna run the string through it. I'm gonna make sure to hold this one tight so it doesn't go back in. It's gonna, so 
We'll drop it in. And it's going to come right to where I am. And there it is. So now all I got to do, drop that down. And just kind of fish it out through. And there it is. That's it. So now we can put our nut on this side. I, so now I'm going to put this one on. Now this is backwards threaded. There, and now we just tighten that right up. Make that nice and tight. Okay, we need a bigger wrench. Luckily, we have one. Remember, this is backwards threaded. All right, that's about as tight as it's going. Because the inside's starting to turn now. All right. Okay, we don't need our string anymore. We can pull that out. And then next, the spigot itself just screws right into there. But this thing even came with its own Teflon tape. Isn't that amazing? So, let's go ahead. Oh, that's backwards. So we'll screw that in. Ugh. Now I want to kind of spin that around a little more because as you can see it's not where I want it. Tell you what, if we stand lay this down we can get a better grip. There we are. There we go. That is beauteous right there. Yes, sir. Now we have our spigot in there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the hose and rinse this thing out. So next we're going to go ahead and put this out back and we're going to put the downspout into it. As I mentioned earlier, for some reason, Joey won't let me bring the tractor back here, so I had to lug that thing all the way up here. I don't know. She's crazy. Shh, don't tell her I said that. Okay, so I've stacked three pallets up here. That's what we're going to put the barrel on for now. Uh, eventually, I do want to build a stand, but we're kind of doing a proof of concept here, so let's go ahead and get the barrel in place. That's where the barrel's going. That cut it. Yeah, right about, let's see right about here. Alright. Alright. Looks like I need another elbow or a hose or something. I have to go see what I have. All right, I forgot to turn the camera back on. So the plastic piping wasn't working. So I went to find just what I have. And I have this that I bought when I was doing the syrup. I was gonna use that for the, uh, for the fan. And it didn't work for the fan, but it'll work for this. So that'll carry water. It'll come out of the gutter. Get that we'll be back okay that looks like I got it that looks like it should work so the whole system we have our rain gutters in the back of the barn up there coming down through that spout 
nothing's right down there in the barrel. And luckily, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we should see how it comes out. So folks, that's it from the mountain for today. Um, we'll be able to see how this rain system works tomorrow. Eventually, I'll probably replace that with some piping of some type and a better stand for the barrel rather than just pallets, I know. But hey, that's what we're doing for today. We'll fix it later, right? Uh, the hosing, you know, it's the homestead thing. Recycle, reuse, and repurpose, whatever we have on hand. Um, the gutters, the downspout, everything was stuff that we already had. The barrels I bought last year when we were doing sap, and that was one that was left over. I did have to buy a new spigot this year, but hey, whatever. So, don't forget to tell your friends and your neighbors about us. Subscribe to us. Hit the thumbs up on our videos if you like them. Subscribe to our channel, ring the bell. And as always, folks, God bless. Have a good night.